Geneva's car show is a carnival for the automobile. There are lots of new models here and some that are vintage. Minis have been around for 60 years. They're now made by BMW in this factory in Cowley. Four and a half thousand people work here. But today, the German company told Sky News that a no-deal Brexit would raise questions over this factory's future. This would be really a huge burden for the mini brand, you know, and uh, uh, if this would come, which is the worst case scenario you're just mentioning, you now we would need to consider what it exactly means uh, for us on the long run. And uh, for Mini, this is really a danger, no doubt about it. Does that mean effectively moving Mini out, of, it would be an option, moving Mini out of the UK? We at least have to consider it, you know, because we cannot absorb 10% uh, costs on top of it. The Mini plant is already scheduled to close for a week after March the 29th to cope with any disruption. So what happens to that plan if the date for Brexit is pushed back? We cannot. This is done now. We will need to close it uh, anyway. So. Yeah, for, for us, of course, you know, this delaying depends a little bit of now how the delay is. You know, if it's a two, three months delay, which would be not, we would not be very happy because we need certainty in our planning premises, you know, and, and this is not happening right now. This isn't just about BMW or putting pressure on politicians. I've spoken to a range of car company bosses here in Geneva and without exception they've all said that they're worried about Brexit and the impact it could have on the UK car industry. French company PSA own Peugeot and Vauxhall. They fear a no-deal Brexit will lead to higher prices. Suddenly the, the price of the car in the UK will be uh, far uh, above what they are today and so leading to an decrease of the UK market, which will be once again impactful. But many believe this is all just scaremongering. It's a claim I put to the boss of Aston Martin. None of the car companies will turn it off overnight because it's big investments to make uh, platforms in, in United Kingdom uh, factories. But over a period of time, as, they ch as the car companies change over to the new cars, those cars will not come to the United Kingdom. It's nothing to do with fear, it's everything to do with reality. Brexit is the most immediate worry, but the car industry is planning for a future shaped by many other challenges. I think there's some real, real concerns across all manufacturers, um, but it's, it's, it's one, to be honest with you, amongst many. I mean, electrification and CO2 is also big concerns for, for manufacturers as well. It's how do we meet those? And at the same time, how do we make electric vehicles accessible to many? But electric cars will take decades to perfect. Brexit is imminent, and its effects on this industry are now resonating. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Geneva.